Hi, my name is Richard Robinson, and this is my dissertation research video. Because I love studying about religion, all kinds of religion. I studied Egyptian, Greek, Roman, and especially Christianity. I chose to do mine on the Anabaptists uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I really like learning about the Reformation, and two, I really like the free will doctrine, the, the free will idea that the Anabaptists and other separatists come up with. And this idea is that unlike predestination, where God chooses whether someone's going to be saved or damned, depending on um, the author you're, you're reading, Calvin or others, um, you know, it might depend on your God's foreknowledge of your faith and merit, or just that God chose this person to be saved and this one to be damned, and that no one really could do anything about this. The free will thinkers said we do get to choose. We get to choose if we're going to follow God or not. And in choosing that, we get to become good people or bad people, where if God makes us do something, we're neither good or bad. We're just doing what God makes us do. And so I want to learn a little bit more about this doctrine, this idea that uh, Reformation thinkers like Harry Hart or Henry Hart had. So I chose the Anabaptists who believed in this doctrine and had influence on the later Baptists in America like John Lehman. So the two dissertations I looked at was Nanko Nankyo Cho's Anabaptist Beliefs on God's Covenant in the late 16th century, Pilgrim Marbeck, Mino Simmons, and Peter Redman, and The Development of Religious Separatism in the Diocese of Canterbury by Robert J. Atchison. So while one's about Anabaptists, one's about English separatists, they're both looking at followers or believers in this idea of free will. Um, Cho focuses on the three writers, Marbeck, Simmons, and Redmond, and discusses how understanding their teachings about God's covenant is important to understanding the doctrines and teachings of the Anabaptists. She starts off by talking about um, the need to understand this covenant and these beliefs, and she talks about the influence of Swigley on Anabaptist thinkers, and then she turns to the three thinkers and has a section for each one of the thinkers. In the last chapter she does, she analyzes the beliefs and their importance. She uses a number of books and research articles and of course, primary uh, sources, mostly the writings of the three authors she's looking at, but there's some from other authors as well. Her thesis is that it is necessary to understand the teachings of God's covenant by these men to understand the teachings and beliefs of baptism and radical discipleship that we find in the Anabaptists. Atchison, um, is focusing on England, on the separatist movement there, which a lot of them, including Henry Hart, um, had this free will doctrine that we get to choose, not all of them. He focuses on how uh, the separatists were formed, that he argues that they were there in England before the reign of Charles I. His dissertation focuses on the time period of 1590 through 1660 and how separatism developed over this period. He looks at a world and East Kent as two major regions where separatism develops. And in the second part of his dissertation, he looks specifically at the Congregationalist Baptists and Quakers and their beliefs and the, their development. Um, he has a lot of uh, letters, sermons, George Fox's journal and other first-hand accounts of things that happened at the time, and he uses a lot of secondary research as well in uh, his dissertation arguing for this early um, separatist movement. So as always as historians, we're trying to look objectively uh, as uh, Liberty's biblical worldview points out mm, that we need to do. Thank you uh, for listening.